Well, Xavier, if you take us through your, your first professional year and just so far how, how you think it's going. Uh, obviously, so much different than junior. Um, and I think right now I'm just learning everything uh, about being a pro hockey player on the ice, of the ice. Uh, and this year, I think I just want to learn from those guys in the room. Uh, every game it's a learning process, uh, process for me. So uh, just like to take uh, my game to the next level here. Yeah. They say that you know the jump from junior to the AHL might be harder actually than the AHL to the NHL jump. Just um, what are some of the things that you've kind of had to adjust to uh, at the pro level in your first year? Uh, every guy is stronger and faster. Obviously, uh, they all like so much older than me. Um, so I think the pace of the game is faster. Uh, you need to take your uh, decision quicker. Uh, but I think I'm getting used to now. Um, play more confidence, but for sure it's, some games are going to be harder. Uh, I'm still learning, I'm still young, so uh, just, just try to figure it out. I'll play with those guys. Yeah. You, had, you had a great uh, last year in junior. Is it the consistency at the AHL level that, that you're really looking to strive for? Is that what you think that the coaches and the management are, are looking for from the player to ultimately promote them to the NHL? Uh, I think I know and they know that they, uh, I had good skills offensively. Uh, I think I'm working on the more on defensive, defensive side of the, of the game now. Uh, be consistent, run less on the puck. Uh, I think that they want me for uh, the next level here. Yeah. You've got to share this experience with a couple first year guys, second year guys. What has it been like to kind of share that experience with those guys, but also when you factor in that you, you're mixing the roster with a lot of veteran guys as well, like like Bugsy? Uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, playing with him helps a lot. I think he's, uh, he's been in this league for a while, uh, in NHL too. Uh, so talking with him helped me like play with my game confident. Uh, I think outside of the room is a great guy. He's talking a lot to the younger guys. Uh, he's a great leader in the room. So just playing with him, uh, it's very nice. We've heard uh, blue paint Borgie a bit this yeah. year. Do you think you've kind of had to adjust your game a little bit? You're having to score a lot more of those goals yeah. in gritty ways. Yeah, for sure. Uh, last year, I mean, I was one of the top guys in the junior. Uh, score a lot of goals. Uh, I think I was stronger than those guys in the junior, so faster. Uh, this year, I'll sometimes I have some opportunity and find the guys who are stronger, so it's already good to the net, though that's the thing uh, I want to improve. And uh, that's the thing I think I improved already, uh, going to the paint. Uh, I think if you want to score goals in the NHL, AHL, uh, those, those type of goals, uh, you need to go in, this, in those areas. We've heard a, a couple comparisons for your, your four check to a guy like Yamamoto. Um, is that something you've had to kind of inject in your game or really, really focus on? Other than the offensive side, is there the other side of the game that's, that's really taken an emphasis uh, at the AHL level? Oh yeah, I think the offensive will come after, but I think I really want to like, be like a guy like Yamamoto, as you said. Uh, he's great on the forecheck, he's not the, uh, the biggest player like me, but he's always on the puck, he's uh, always like on those D-men, pressuring those uh, D-men. Uh, great on the back check, so just try to, to be like him a little bit, and the offense will come after uh, when I have more experience here in the pro level. What are you made of how some of the, the veterans have kind of integrated you guys into the program? It can be easy for maybe veterans to keep to themselves and the rookies to keep to themselves, but it really looks like the culture here in Bakersfield is about unity and kind of, you know, keeping everybody in line from the, the veterans down to the rookies. Uh, yeah, we had a really good group. Uh, I think it was easy to, uh, they just welcome us uh, very easily. Uh, I think all the, the younger guys, uh, the rookie, uh, they help us uh, going through in, into those groups. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of guys who uh, play NHL, a lot of games in the pro hockey, and uh, it's my first year like really away from home, but, like really far. So uh, I think they helped me a lot uh, going through this. Uh, I mean, yes, it's, it's different on the ice, but on the ice too. Like I'm living by myself with another guy, so they really help, help us uh, being comfortable uh, on the ice. Is that an understated challenge for a first year player where you're not just learning how to adapt yourself on the ice, but also on the professional side? You're living in a new city, like you said, living by yourself. Is that one of the, yeah. the one of the bigger challenges that you've had to deal with? Uh, for sure, a little bit, but I think I, I'm used to now. I think I left home when I was uh, 14 years old, just to uh, three hours away from my hometown to uh, go work, work out in Montreal. Um, but I think it's, yeah, it's, it's for sure, it's, uh, it's different. You have to cook uh, by your by yourself and everything. But uh, I think the uh, the young uh, the veteran players will be uh, a lot uh, just 
and everything. It's probably nice to, you know, trade a little bit of those winners in Montreal for Bakersfield, California. What have you made of Bakersfield, California, the hockey city and what you've seen from the fans? And uh, I mean, the weather is great. Uh, you don't have like snow or anything. I think we just arrived here and uh, it was very cold. Out. I think Bakersfield is nice for this, the weather. Uh, we had a great ring too, so uh, I think uh, I don't have anything to say about the uh, Bakersfield, yeah. And in terms of the ring, when it comes to the, you know, player analysis and uh, just breaking down the games with the coaches and the weight rooms, just what do you make of the resources available to you in Bakersfield? Uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, we had a nice gym. Uh, I think uh, four players were uh, doing a video meeting. Uh, uh, like on your own, like with the coaches. Um, I think we were, uh, we were able to talk with them a lot. Uh, they open to everything, so uh, for this for this side, it's very nice to uh, they help us uh, a lot uh, in this side of the game. Too. And then finally, just um, you've seen some teammates like James Amblin, guys like Dylan Holloway, make that promotion to the NHL. Do you see that player pathway as an avenue for you? to launch yourself to the NHL when you when you think about some of the success stories like James Hamlin and Dylan Holloway? Uh, yeah, actually I live uh, with uh, James so it's very nice to like, it's a great example for me as a younger guy. Uh, I think he worked very hard since the start of his uh, career. Uh, he earned an NHL contract uh, last year so uh, he had his first couple of games in NHL the, this year so I think uh, for every player it's a great example. Uh, you want to prove yourself, work hard every day and I think this year I want to thank this year for uh, learning and to be able to be a better player for the next year after uh, the, my first uh, pro year. Yeah.